So greetings, I'm going to do this real short and real quick. Uh, I was listening to Jaren's little video this morning on the way into work and I just figured I'd make this little video. Number one, Jaren, uh, oh and by the way, the reason why I'm making this video is because I can't comment on your uh, thing because you censor your comments because that's what frauds do. Um, you know, Globuster much? Anyway. Just wanted to say real quick here, uh, first of all, the points that Jaron made in his video. The first point was uh, the travel distance of light. He pointed out two stars, and he said that because the two stars are vastly different uh, distances apart, for some reason light can't reach your eye at the same time. That's a crock of shit, um, otherwise you would never see two objects at all of different distances from each other. So I'm not sure if you're saying that light doesn't have a travel time or whatever. I can even stand at the corner of the Rhine and the Mine River and according to you, because they have two different sources but yet flow at somewhat at the same rate, the water shouldn't uh, water shouldn't reach me. I, I that's such an absurd comment, Jaron. The, the depth of the stupidity is unbelievable. Uh, second uh, thing that he said, doing, uh, doing tests above salt water. Um, water, period. Who cares? Okay, really. And if you want to talk about refractive index, fine. Then why can you still see the mountains? Okay. It has nothing to do with any of that. I personally admit that they should have raised the balloons higher. I was very dissatisfied with the way that they conducted this test. But when you pointed out the fact that they were that they said that when they were still holding the balloons somewhat low in that photo that you showed, um, first of all, they were up on the road. They weren't down at the water. That was a joke that even uh, 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 Skiba and them got caught up in in the live stream that you were doing. They, <laughs> it's just, it's funny. They were up on the road. They were up higher. Okay, so the whatever, maybe 10, 15 feet that they were there when they finally had the balloons actually extended and all that, um, they were a good bit above the water, buddy. So, <clears throat> research much? Um, another thing that I need to point out here, and I'm going to point this out, I've pointed this out on both my channel and also on the Hangout that Red did, no flat earthers, except for that one blonde uh, lady, uh, I don't know what her name was, so I'm just, I have to refer to her as the blonde lady. Um, that's not meant as an insult. Uh, nobody brought any gear with them. You know, where was your verification? Where was anybody bringing out anything that had to do with actually verifying the test? Where was that? It was nowhere. Why was it nowhere? Because you guys were not out there to, per, you know, participate in the test. You were out there to just go, nuh uh, nuh uh, nuh uh. Like you always do. Like frauds do. All you're doing is protecting your income. Okay? Protecting your FE core money. You know, so people can spend a couple more, a couple hundred bucks more for a PDF. All right? Um, and. As far as confirmation bias goes, you made a comment here that uh, the the IIG folks were out there to just confirm the globe. We're testing and proving the globe. What do you do? Don't don't answer that with I come back with I'm looking for truth. No, you're not looking for truth. You're not looking to test anything. You are looking to prove something, and what you are trying to prove is something that is utter and complete bullshit. The earth is not flat. There is no test that confirms it. You even did your your first laser test above salt water. So even claiming that, claiming that is stupid. I'm going to be putting out a video here in the next day or two showing how this test, in my opinion, should have been performed because of the fact that the problem with performing these tests, and Mark Sargent's like, oh, we wrote the book on this test. You wrote the book on how to fail at this test. The reason why is because of the fact that you guys always go by... Um, you guys end the test with, I see it. That's wrong. If you are ending the test with, I see it, you did it wrong. Because of the fact that, I see it doesn't work very well when you're dealing with things that are at the horizon. I agree. There's distortion going on at the horizon. I agree. There is refraction going on at the horizon. 
But it's funny that you only, you guys only bring that up when it's convenient for you to say that a test doesn't work and not when it has to do with actually bending light to see things that are beyond the curve. The uh, And only limited distances beyond the curve and limited heights beyond the curve. You guys don't measure that stuff. You guys don't do anything like that. You stop at, I see it, and then say, oh, you know, victory, Earth's flat, everybody lies. You're full of shit, Jaron, okay? What you need to do is actually extend the test well above the horizon with a, in a measurable fashion so that you can actually say what it is that you are seeing instead of just stopping at, I see it, okay? I agree that there's a lot of stuff that goes on at the horizon. I put out a, a video about a year ago saying that I don't accept, that me personally, I don't. you don't have to, I don't care, but I personally don't accept things that are done at the actual surface level because of the amount of things that are going on at the horizon. However, there are better ways to do, do this test. Mark Sargent, <laughs> you're a bonehead, dude. We wrote the book on how to do this test. We've done it hundreds of times, and you've failed every single time otherwise it would be something that we would see on every video it would land on the news if you did it properly okay so jaron sorry your little your little butt hurt video <laughs> you're full of shit dude prove me wrong okay don't just come back with another neat little comment where missa comes in the background and says oh because they use this and all this prove me wrong. I'm going to lay out a test. I dare you to do it. The reason why I'm daring you to do it is because of the fact that you don't, uh, uh, you run away from every single test that actually produces substantial results. You ran away from the Eratosthenes experiment. Okay. You ran away from, uh, uh, uh Jesse Kozlowski's, uh, uh, the Adelaide experiments. You run away from all the experiments that actually do prove something and just come back and say, nah, -uh, so you can keep on getting money from idiots. Y'all have a nice day.